Thank you for five euros from Two Mars, who says the buzzer pad on my flight controller no longer works. Can I solder an active buzzer somewhere else? Yes, you can. Um, you'll need to remap the buzzer output using uh, resource reassignment. Um, you could remap it to a UART. It would be fine. You could remap it to a motor, probably a UART, definitely a motor output. So the simplest thing to do, uh, it's a Speedy B F405. Uh, speed to be F405. I think this mine is an F7. Is it an F4 or an F7? No. Okay. I'm going to show you how to do it. I have a speed to be F405 right here. The first thing we got to do, I'm going to show you literally. The first thing we got to do is we got to find a pad to work off of. Um, do we have spare motor outputs? Let's look at the board. Yes. Motor five, six, seven, eight. Do you see right here? We have motors five, six, seven, eight. Okay. A spare motor output will work. The second thing I need to tell you is, unless you are using an active buzzer with a self-powered buzzer, and now you said active buzzer, it has to be like a V-Fly Finder that has a built-in battery, do not do this, because otherwise the buzzer will pull too much power from the pin and burn out the pin on the flight controller. But if you have a self-powered buzzer like a V-Fly Finder, you 100% can do this because it will it will dr not draw power from the pin. It'll it'll use its own internal power source. Then, so we're going to use mo M5 motor output five. The next thing, oh sorry, wrong wrong screen. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to connect. We're going to go to the CLI. I'm going to go a little bit fast because we're running up the against the end of the stream, and I'm going to type re uh, resource and hit enter. And then I'm going to look for motor 5. DC resource motor 5 B00. Pin motor 5 is B00. Write that down. B00. Now I'm going to look for the beeper resource. Wow, oh, here it is. Great. Resource beeper 1 CO5. Okay? So you, you damaged pin CO5. What you're going to do is you're going to type resource beeper 1 B00. So what you're telling it is that the beeper is now on motor 5. That's it. Save. That's it. Now, solder up your self-powered buzzer and where you would put the buzzer wire, instead put that on motor 5. Wire everything else up normally, and you're good to go.